So this is the power supply that comes with the Super Soco, the TC Wanderer, uh, in this region anyways. This is only a 4 amp charger. Uh, in Europe, some of the places actually sell a 10 amp charger. So the connector, when I'm referring to the connector, it refers to all the male pins, which actually plugs into the Super Soco. So just be careful uh, if you are doing any wiring to make sure that, that I'm actually talking about the actual socket that comes with the charger that plugs into the TC Wanderer. So if we look at the actual pinouts themselves, this is looking at the socket uh, this way as it plugs into the Super Soco. So it's these uh, angles on the side here are facing up. So if we look at that, um, you have your plus and minus pins and then you have pins one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. So pins one and two have no connection on them at all, which are these middle two pins. Pin three it, um, connects to the battery negative. So this pin here, pin three, and the battery negative have to be connected together. We do that when we solder the actual uh, little connector onto the end of the cable. These two are connected together, which will start the uh, BMS to charge the battery. Pins four and five have no connection. Pin 6 is the RS485A communications line and the RS485B communications line. These aren't used actually on the battery charger. These are only internal that are used in the, in the actual battery BMS itself in the internals of the Super Soco. So the charger, there's really no connection on this. In pin 8 is the power control um, uh, pin. So the only pin that you need to worry about on this uh, connector from your charger is pin 3. So pin 3 goes to the negative. So if we look at the connector that I have, um, I'll just shine a light in it here. You can see that I've got the negative uh, and the positive and the other pins I've actually removed um, and I've just left pin 3 in as you can see on the bottom left hand corner there. So that's pin 3 and the uh, other pins that came with this connector you don't actually need them so I, I actually um, disconnected them and hence the other end of the cable here these cables I've taken all the other wires off as well and this is actually pin 3 this is actually a brown and a white wire and uh, it actually connects to the battery negative so those two would go together like that and then they're actually soldered to the actual connector itself together and then that sends a signal to start the charger so this is an xt60 female connector that's going to connect into the power supply that we've bought and then the connector here for, for, to the super soco we just solder these pins onto the xt60 and obviously the pin number three gets tied in with the negative those get soldered together the negative and then they're all heat shrinked up and that then plugs into the power supply and the other end of this cable gets plugged into the super soco okay so we'll just tin the wires first get it nice and hot get the solder flowing there beautiful tin this one beautiful tin this one beautiful so all of those are tinned and we'll just solder it onto the connector Okay, so we'll just get some solder on this connector. You can do both of these, get some solder flowing into them. Okay, we can put our positive in. Okay, and then our negative. We have the two wires on the negative, of course. put some solder on here okay so there we go the wires are soldered on I'll just undo this vise just check that they're firm the black cables on okay 
So now we can slip the heat shrink down and then we'll, we'll shrink over the, the actual cables themselves. Okay, so we just get the heat gun and we're just going to heat up the heat shrink here. Okay, now I have two others here. We'll just slide them down. So this one can go to the end. It just puts this over here nicely. Whoops, sorry. Goes down here nicely, and then this one slides over the top of that one once it shrinks. So it gives us an extra bit of insulation on here. So there, there we have it. There's our XT60 connector that plugs into the power supply. This end plugs into the super soco. It actually goes this way like this and plugs straight into the super soco and that into the XT60. Okay, so the power supply has arrived. This is the packaging that it comes in. So it, there's obviously a box inside here. So we'll just open it up. We'll have a look inside. So open up the cardboard box. <clears throat> Let's see here. So I ordered it with the 100 volt plug. So this is the first part. So you specify when you order it, you need to specify what voltage your country is. So you specify 100 volt, 110 or two, 240 volt, and they'll ship it with the right connector and configuration. And this is the connector that they put on it. You're... So if you remember, we did the uh, connection before. So this is what we made up. So this actually connects into here. It's the same connector, goes in. And then that goes into the Super Soco. So they put that on for you at the factory, but you do need to specify what connector you want. Um, as I said to you before that uh, I actually chose the XT60 connector and uh, so they put the XT60 connector on for me so that's good so let's have a look at the power supply comes with an owner's manual with all the information are uh, the charging leads and how they work so immediately we'll file that we don't need to read the owner's manual oh Another thing I almost threw out then, you get uh, two fuses as well. Quite hefty. Right, let's look at the important part. Here's the charger. It's quite a weighty feel to the charger. This is where the fuse is here. So let's see if there's a fuse in here. And there is. So it comes with the fuse all ready to go. And it's a 71.4 71, uh, 71 volt charger um, and has the certificates all here for the various reasons and countries and it's quite a light compact charger it's quite nice actually so the next step is that uh, we'll power it up and then we'll uh, check the output voltage and then we'll plug it into the battery okay so the first thing we do before we plug it in is we'll just check the voltage is right so on the power supply, we have two LEDs. This tells us that we have power connected and the green LED means it's charging. When it finishes charging, this green LED will actually turn off. So let's just check the voltage here. I'll just put the meter up so you can see it. So looking at the connector, so positive, um, if you're actually looking at the connector, the way it plugs into the Super Soco, uh, this is the positive terminal, that's the negative terminal. Let's check the voltage. 
and there's our voltage 71.1 volts so it looks like we're good to go so I'll just disconnect the power I'll actually take the one of the batteries out of the bike and uh, we'll plug it in on the bench and just see how we go so let's plug the uh, cable into the battery um, it just goes in this way so that's in this LED comes on and then we're just going to turn the power on now just connect it in and it's charging we can see the lights on the battery I'll just move it over here you can see they're flashing so it's actually charging without any problem at all and the LED is indicating that it's charging so this indeed is a very nice charger it's quiet it has a fan in it but it's much quieter than the standard charger you could actually have this in your house without any problem at all um, maybe not in the same room but uh, in another room and it'll be very quiet so it's actually quite compact I think they've done an excellent job so we'll just see how it goes we'll come back and uh, we'll see how long it takes to charge this battery so I've just got back to the charger it's all off the fan switched off automatically there's uh, two the two LEDs the actual LED number two is red when it's charging it actually turns green when it's finished and LED one stays red all the time to let you know that it has got power. It receives, it goes red as soon as you connect it to the battery to show that you've got your battery voltage connected on the DC side. Yeah, so it's it's all off, nice and quiet, and the Super Soco battery is fully charged. Where have we got it? Here? There we go. You can see it there, fully charged. That's excellent. Okay. So that's it off viewers for today. I will leave the link in the description below for all the uh, the power supply and all the cables etc and the connectors. So hopefully it's been some use to you and uh, yeah we'll see you again next time. Thank you very much.